हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ अवर थर्ड लेसन ऑन द नाइट्रोजन मेटाबोलिज्म ऑफ प्लांट्स इन प्रेजेंटेड बाय मी अपराजिता शंघार एज इन अर्लियर लेसन्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन इट्स टाइप्स वेरियस काइंड्स इन डिटेल एंड इन इन प्रीवियस लेसन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द रिएक्शंस ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशंस एंड व्हाट आर द वेरियस रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द बायोलॉजिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन सो लेट्स प्रोसीड विद दिस लेसन this is about symbiotic nitrogen fixation we have already discussed about that uh, what are the what is uh, the reaction overall reaction of biological nitrogen fixation what its requirement but in case of symbiotic re, uh, symbiotic nitrogen fixation there is a presence of uh, symbiotic relationship between the microorganism which in which the nitrogenase enzyme is present uh, present and which is helping in nitrogen fixation and between the roots of plant where nitrogen fixation is taking place so there is symbiotic relationship so in symbiotic uh, nitrogen fixation the symbiosis between uh, the rhizobia and leguminous host plant and this kind of uh, nitrogen fixation takes place in the member of family leguminosae in which uh, grams uh, etc are comes grams have peas etc uh, uh, comes and these are known as leguminous ho- leguminous plants the member of family leguminosae so there is a symbiotic relationship between the rhizobia which we have already discussed that it is a nitrogen fixing bacteria and leguminous host plant which are the member of family leguminosae and this uh, the complete name of this bacteria is rhizobium leguminoserum rhizobium leguminoserum is the complete name of this bacteria you can also uh, see in this uh, diagram that uh, this these are the roots of leguminous plants and uh, here the nodule formation is taking place and we will see that how these uh, nodules are formed and which helps in the fixation of nitrogen so what are the steps involved which uh, in the symbiotic nitrogen fixation the first step is nodule formation as we know that uh, uh, there are so many bacteria which are present in soil so how this uh, this kind of bacteria which we are knowing as symbiotic bacteria rhizobium leguminosorum get uh, near to the roots of uh, leguminous plants and not others so a growth stimulating substance is secreted this growth stimulating substance such as biotin or thiamine amino acid they are secreted by the roots of symbiotin or which enhances the growth of rhizobia over other microbes and these substance which are secreted by the symbiotic plant promotes the growth of rhizobia bacteria and the reaction between the polysaccharides which are present on the surface of rhizobial cell and lectin secreted by the root hair means the roots of the leguminous plants are secreting the lectin and a polysaccharide which is known as a callose is present on the surface of rhizobial cell there occurs a interaction between them and by uh, and which helps the recog- helps in the recognition of the correct host plant by the specific rhizobium so this results in the formation of nodule formation this is the beginning of nodule formation then curling of root hairs bacteria releases the factor which is known as nod factor which results in the curling of root hair what happened up to now that there was a root of a plant and there were so many bacteria were present and a symbiotic relationship occurs between these bacteria and these bacteria get in contact with that of the roots of the leguminous plants and the formation of nodules takes place 
then the curling of root hair takes place due to the release of nod factor by the bacteria then it forms the infectious thread infectious thread we can say this is a group of so many uh, microorganism this is a so so many uh, this is a group of these rhizobium leguminosorium this is known as infectious thread so then it forms the infection thread by the root cells through the tip hair then nodule formation and leg hemoglobin then rhizobium enters into the cell and these rhizobium bacteria stimulate the inner cortical tissue to divide and forms a organized mass of infected plant tissue which is protruded out and appear as a nodule what happens that when these bacteria gets in contact with the roots of uh, uh, these uh, leguminous plants they penetrate inside and stimulates the cortical cells tissue and when they stimulate the cortical cells tissue they get unrepeatedly divide gets divided and divided and forms an organized mass which appears like a nodule and we says that nodule formation has occurred and once these bacteria reaches the cortical cell they stop dividing and then they enlarge here uh, we can see that uh, this is a uh, root of leguminous plants and we are seeing there are root hairs and uh, from these root hairs what happens that there are so many rhizobium bacteria they get collected and forms a infectious thread which penetrates into the roots of plants and from there it reaches to the cortical cells and it stimulate the cortical cells to uh, divide and divide unrepeatedly and this results in the formation of nodules and here the nitrogen fixation takes place and the reactions are same as we have discussed what will happen that uh, here in the presence of these bacteria which contains the uh, in the nodule which contains the nitrogenase enzymes the nitrogen will be converted into the ammonia a combination with that of the 8 hydrogen ion and 8 electrons so this was uh, all about this lesson in the coming lesson we are going to discuss about the process of nitrification and further how the metabolism of nitrogen takes place thank you very much have a nice day.